Good morning guys. So, as you can see from the title of this video, I am going to be moving house in the next couple of days. For me, it's happening around about like the 16th-ish, um, depending when I can get removal vans, that's something I still need to sort out. But for you guys, <clears throat> it might have already happened by now, and obviously these are going to be backdated, I don't really know. Everything is very kind of up in the air at the moment, but... I am moving house and if you follow me on Instagram you will already know Sam and I are no longer together so we are moving separately. Our tenancy had kind of nearly come to an end anyway and we're both moving into different houses and we're not together anymore. I'm not really going to talk about it again because I don't really feel like I need to and also I give so much of myself to YouTube and to Instagram and I share a lot of my life and I think there's certain parts of my life that I'm allowed to keep private um, and obviously tied into all of that was Minnie and we made the really horrible painful decision to rehome Minnie and that wasn't a decision that happened lightly it wasn't a decision that wasn't like really considered we thought of everything we thought about where we could have her like we'd both have to find apartments obviously that you can keep a dog um and there's many, many factors involved in that decision that I really don't want to go into and I don't want to talk about and I don't want to talk about me and Sam anymore. Like, I just don't want to talk about any of it. And oh, this is, I've never thought about talking about things like this on a video before and I never wanted to. Okay. <laughs> End that chapter there. So this video, as you can see from the title, is my packing vlog. So this is going to be me kind of packing up my house and decluttering my house I guess and just sorting things out and making sure that I'm only taking what I actually want and need and then anything else is going to charity or to family and friends or anything like that. I don't know whether to start in the bedroom or the office or the living room like I don't know where to start. I'm thinking I'm thinking the bedroom. Do you know what I'm actually going to start by pulling those down and then we're going to see what happens. <laughs> Let's just start there because that's the first thing that can go into a box. I'm just going to keep balancing you. Look at what you're stood on. <laughs> Okay, let's try and get that down. How do I do this? Come find me in the night. We both know when it's right. Babe, I can ease your mind, but I want it. So I actually got these in B&M and one of them's broken because they're glass. So I don't know if you can see, but it's like smashed on the side, which is really dangerous. But obviously when they're hung up, it's not near me. Like it's been right up by the ceiling. But I'm a bit wary about how I pack this because I obviously don't want me or one of the girls to unpack it. And like, can you see it? It's literally like a, it's really bad. Um, so I need to work out how I'm gonna pack these. I also need to dust them because they are very dusty. So I'm packing on FaceTime to Amelia, who's gonna hide her face. <laughs> I knew you'd do that as I turned it around. But she's helping me move next weekend, so I'm on FaceTime to her, like packing my first box. I've officially packed the first box. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so as you saw, I was on FaceTime to Amelia for quite a while there. Um, basically, she is coming to help me move with my other friend Tash and Sarah's also coming as well because I figured I want like as many hands as possible and they also kind of want to come and support me and like make it into a fun experience. So they're going to come help me move and Amelia was like just FaceTiming about other stuff anyway and um, we were just like talking about what I'm going to pack and what I'm taking and like whether I really need all these beauty products. So I've just done one living room box which is like all my candles and like random stuff like I had a blanket that used to be on my bed in the old house I've come into the bathroom because I thought this was like a good place to pack next and I've got a few towels and stuff that are brand new that I need to put then in this box because I've, like there's no point in them being in the box they're in they might as well go into like a moving box and then get put straight into the bathroom so what I've done is I've got two bathrooms in the new house so I've got an ensuite and I've got a bathroom 
One has a bath and will be kind of like my guest bathroom, apart from obviously if I'm having a bath. And then the other one will be the one that I use kind of all the time. So this is gonna be my box of stuff that's going into my bathroom, because obviously it's the stuff that has been in here and been used all the time. And then I basically just left like my everyday things. So like my hair stuff that I use to wash my hair at the moment, my cleanser, like my retainer bright for my Invisalign. And then I'm packing everything else into the box, apart from obviously like my body wash and stuff that I use all the time, which actually, this has got like the tiniest bit left. So I think by the time I move, that'll probably be empty, but I'm gonna pack the new towels in there. I feel like I'm doing quite well though. Like I've done a box and a half already and it's only, it's half nine, but it's taking me half an hour, which I think is pretty good going. So I'm gonna get into this white company box here. I'm actually just gonna show you. I wasn't gonna show you this, but I figured I might as well cause I'm packing it. God, what am I doing? I'm breaking the place. I bought, where can I stand you? in the foliage no let me stand you there so basically the white company had an up to 60 percent off sale this week and last week and there was an extra 10 percent off for a day so i thought i would just go a bit nuts and buy some really nice towels because i've had these towels for a while that are from h&m and i've had them maybe three years and they're like a patterned towel and they're not really that soft they've kind of just been used so many times over the years um because obviously i only have two of them that get used like on repeat so they're they just needed an upgrade. So I thought I would buy some new towels. So I bought two hand towels so I can have one in each bathroom. And then I actually got two, I'll show you that in a sec. And then I basically got two of the bath sheets and two of the bath towels. These are gonna be towels that last me quite a long time. And I just felt like giving myself a little tiny treat for moving into my first place on my own. And then I actually got myself which might be going back because I'm in two minds about this. I actually got another diffuser because I use my aroma diffuser all the time. And I thought it might be quite nice to have one in the office and one in the living room so that I've got two that are kind of on the go that I don't have to keep moving it between rooms. But I also got two oils because oils are around about £10 wherever you buy them. So I got a spa one and I got a sleep one because I use a sleep one quite a lot, especially if I'm having like a self-care evening of like just feeling like... I don't know how to explain it, but let me take these towels out. I'm gonna pack them wrapped like this because I think it makes sense that they're all gonna go into the bathroom, into the box. Have you ever seen a girl more terrified than when there's a wasp? I, I walked into the bathroom and there's one there and it won't go. And I keep opening different parts of the window as it gets to like different bits and it's just not leaving. But I really don't wanna get stung. So I'm thinking, do I abandon the bathroom for a minute and let it go? Leave. Get out. Okay, actually, I'll tell you what I can do. I've got some bits. I made a glass of wine when I was on FaceTime to a friend last night. I never actually drank it, so I'm gonna actually tip this down the sink. I'm gonna start. Okay, no, I keep starting random bits of random places, but it's because I have random bits in random places. The removal boxes I ordered are actually really tiny, and it's kind of annoying because they are so small, but I actually think it might be beneficial. So they're literally this big which means they're easy to carry, but it means there's more of them. But I think if the removal men are taking like two at a time, which I'm assuming they will, then it won't actually be that bad and they'll be lighter. I think this is the typical thing with packing though. Like you don't realize how much stuff you have until you start packing. And then you get to like bits that you've hidden, like under the sofa, there's like puzzles and stuff. But then when I go upstairs, we've got like a loft cupboard and that's full of stuff. And there's other places that are just full of stuff. basically. Where's the wasp gone? Okay, the wasp isn't, oh no, it's still there. Oh, I feel really bad because I'm gonna shut the door and hope that he leaves.
still have Amelia on FaceTime, but I'm gonna start tackling the bedroom. So she's actually been like the most helpful person ever. Telling me what to pack, because I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm kind of just like starting in one room and then going to something else and then going to something else. So I'm going in an order. So I've done the bathroom. I've done like miscellaneous house stuff. I've done, what else have I done? Some of the living room, but basically like gone in order. So now I'm gonna tackle the bedroom and do like as much of the bedroom as I can like clothes and stuff that are in here and like packing up random drawers and things that are going to be back into those drawers because these are heavy like these weigh an absolute ton so i want to clear them out before i move because i literally there's no way you could it's solid oak and they're heavy so <sighs> god this room is a mess <laughs> So basically, in my cupboard, I've now left a couple of bits. So these are both presents from my parents for my birthday and then my dinner set. And what I'm gonna do is these are things that I'm gonna take in the car with me to the new house. So I'm gonna leave them in the cupboard and basically make that like a cupboard of stuff that I know I need to pack. And then stuff that's come out of the cupboard, I'm gonna put in a pile in the living room so that it's ready to go, I think. This is, I'm just not good at packing. Right, I was on FaceTime to Amelia for three hours. Three hours? Basically from like nine, 10, 11, two and a half hours. And in that time, I've managed to pack up like most of the living room decor. So like random candles and stuff like that. Bathroom, so all my products, my towels, obviously apart from the towels that I'm gonna be using for the next few days, and my bedroom. I basically packed all of that up. So like all my drawers and stuff have been emptied and anything that I don't need for the next few days is there. Obviously things like cushions and stuff I haven't bothered with yet because I probably just stick stuff like that in an Ikea bag. Like we had so many Ikea bags from the move into this house. That's basically what I'm gonna be using to move out as well. It's a bit of a mess in here, but it's like a productive mess. Like it's a mess of things being done. That being said, I'm gonna end today's bit of packing here. I'm gonna get on and get ready for Ikea and I'll see you in a bit or another day when I carry on packing. The next morning.